fantastic one. Hello. Join me on another workflow video where I'll be organizing my lists and tasks in Apple Reminders. I spent a whole day trying to find an app that would work better than calendars. I must have gone through hundreds of apps just trying to look for a calendar app online and on App Store. That search was unfruitful. Something that I should have recorded, but maybe on my next adventure for app hunting, I'll let you guys in on that. I even started considering project management apps, but they have too many features that I really don't need for my workflow. The problem I'm having with calendars by Riddle is this. All my tasks look the same. And that gives me very little information on what I need to be doing. That's just made me keep going back to Apple Reminders, which is not an ideal setup. So this is an example of my list. My courses list in calendars is not structured because the app doesn't bring that in from app reminders. I wanted to just look at a task and be able to know everything that I need to know, whether it's from margin note or good notes. So I thought more colors can solve that easily. This is the organization I'm trying to fix, and I have to do this in app reminders because effectively that's where all this information is stored. I have lists that are divided into sections. So I have a list for my courses. All my courses for the five different apps in the course list are green. The problem with that is they all have the same topics. So, for example, Free Notes is the newest course that we're planning at the moment. It has the same lessons as Good Notes. It has orientation, new pages. It has the same things when you're doing a course for them to make sure that we're covering everything in those apps. It becomes very confusing when I'm trying to cover the three courses at the same time. I need another level of organization. I need to add something to how I've organized my information in Apple Reminders to make sure that I'm getting all the information that I need in calendars. I'd already started working on this. So before where I had these freestanding lists, I'm replacing them with groups. I already have a group for our courses. When I started recording this, Apple Notes was the newest list I just created. So now I have to move the tasks for the Apple Notes course from the old list to this new list. My subtasks now become individual to dos. For margin note, I even created sections for beginner, intermediate, and advanced classes. Free notes is the new course that will be starting soon, and I need to create sections for that using the notes I have in Apple Notes. This new organization allows me to save free notes as a template for all the other apps in this niche.
which is something I was not able to do before with the way I'd organized this work in Apple Reminders. I also thought to delete all the useless templates that I had from the reviews that we do while I was at that. I always want to make sure that when I see something that is off, something that I need to do, something that I need to fix, I just do it immediately if it just takes a few seconds. This setup also makes it easier for me to create new course tasks or new course to-dos from Apple Reminders. Where before I had to copy and paste, now I can just drag and drop items from Apple Notes to Apple Reminders. You still have to do them one at a time, but it's much better than typing or copying and pasting each time. And since I was just demonstrating this for you guys, I'm just going to remove these real quick. The next list I need to organize is for Paperless X. So I'll just create a group for it. And for this, I need two lists, one for reviews and another for workflows. Actually, let me just repurpose the already existing reviews list because that's already there. Creating a new one feels a bit redundant. And then I went on and created another one for workflows. And moved all the to-dos into it. I've made sure that all my lists are different colors. Let's see how that now looks in Calendars by Riddle. I love the different colors because without even needing to go to the individual tasks, I can already tell that they are different apps. Right now, I know that the blue one is Margin Note. This is a review for an app. And now I'm even getting more useful information from the calendar without having to go back to Apple Reminders. I know the task that I need to do, the app that I need to do it for, and any notes, if there are any notes that I've added to it. And this is exactly what I wanted. So I'm really happy that I managed to achieve that. So it seems I didn't need a new app after all. I just needed a different organization system. Have any of you guys recently fixed a workflow to make it more efficient? I would love to hear about it. Until the next one, thank you, fantastic one, for watching. See you in the next workflow demo.